quite a selfish reason why I'm a musician, and it's really about having an area, a domain where you can release emotions, and that started for me quite early on, coming from a very dynamic background. Um, so the first reason I make music is just to bring out the feelings that are too much to handle, whether it's too much happiness, too much sadness, or too much questioning of life. You can just have a safe place to bring it out, and that brings me to one of my theories. <laughs> I have a theory about, <clears throat> I have, I'm not able to follow it very well, but I do have a theory about following three numbers, one, two, and three, and one being yourself, two being the people you love in your close circle and three being the rest of the world and in my theory I feel the best way to function and to optimize energy flow is if you can fill up your own cup number one to let it flow to number two so then when that's flowing naturally you end up giving to the rest of the world and in me doing music being a musician Although it's a, initially a selfish reason why, because I need to express the feeling, actually it's the best thing I can do to help the rest of the world because it's so important to me, it's so much my passion, it's so much a thing that Sharon feels the same, that really, you, it's nearly like having breakfast, you need to do it, otherwise you feel like you're, you're not right and you're not optimizing who you are. And in doing that, you're able really to give to the people you love, and then you end up doing a concert. And by the time you get to that stage, you're then making a lot of people relate to that feeling, because they feel it themselves as well. And that is a healing process. I feel like music is a spiritual process, a healing process, where you're healing yourself and following what's true to you. You end up helping the people you love because you're helping yourself and then you can share it with the world and that's just a wonderful thing to be able to do. And whether it brings money or not, it's irrelevant. Money is great when it comes in for doing such a process, but I think both Sharon and I are the type of people that we decided years before to, to do this regardless of where it takes you, money-wise or... But the amazing thing is, music is so international and possibly intergalactical. We haven't met the aliens yet and heard their music, but I'm sure they would get it if we sat and, you know, played one of our songs from the heart. And they'd probably play some of their trippy, weird alien instruments. But the fact is it goes beyond all languages and it has led us both on amazing journeys all over the world and situations where the person in front of you, they don't understand the words you're singing. They have no idea but the music, the resonance of the frequency, somehow they connect to it. They know that mood you've created, that frequency you've made, they completely get it. Because they've felt that before. And then the energy exchange happens and that's just wonderful. I mean, I couldn't think of a better existence with or without the money. I mean, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but it's, yeah. In a way, it's, a, it's also the best way to love yourself and yeah. then to be able to love, love the with integrity someone else, yeah. In talk of love, what can it be? It means everything to me. Love, the situation of love has always inspired me the most out of all subjects. I mean, I've written about other things, but mostly because the, the area of love when you fall in love or you have a heart break from the end of love is one of these experiences that is nearly too hard to handle like when the excitement so much you nearly explode or when it rips your heart it, it's painful so to bring it into music is a good way like i was saying before about um the selfish reason of needing an area to express that feeling. But I'm saying like Sharon, that questioning, that wondering. In writing a song, often it is when you really are touched by a moment or a situation or a person or a place that really makes you ask the deeper questions of life. And often I find I will write a song and it, 
it's not until some months or years later it actually seems to come true. Often I don't know what I'm writing about. I'm just, I have a feeling inside, I write the mood of the feeling, the words come through, I don't really understand them sometimes, and then weeks, months, years later, I'm playing the song and I'm then realizing I'm living that song then. I've kind of, it's nearly sometimes like a premonition. That's another interesting way. Tasting with a gentle bite To love and swim with him delight Actually, any musician or producer or artist that does quality music with integrity that's a mixture of, well, emotionally intelligent, where you have the mind and the heart engaged, whether it's in all different genres, I mean electronic, jazz, um, contemporary, pop even, if it's a quality production, I really respect and admire them and are inspired by them, even if I wouldn't naturally just listen to them in my car or wherever. Questioning the state of it, wonder how when where who you are. I founded a school in my mind a few years ago called the School of Momentarianism. It's a school about living in the moment, of being really present in the moment that you live in. And I think being an artist and a musician is a really good framework to live such a life. I mean, we don't always do it because we're quite scheduled at other periods of life that you have to be, but if I was to talk about another theory, that would be what I would talk about is this concept of no past, no future, a bit inspired by Eckhart Tolle, a great um, German writer, about really connecting to what is present in that moment. And music and art of any form is a really good way of really embracing that concept. Not even embracing it, just living it, just being there, present. And I think if I've learned anything from being an artist and choosing this lifestyle, it's how important that aspect is. Because to make good music, to make a good performance, to enjoy changing cities every few seconds, it's all about being connected to what really is right there and then. And when we can do that, For me, my heart can open up and relax more because I'm not as connected to what's about to come or what has been and there's an opening feeling and music just enables, it's like a, a key to that door that can just allow that feeling of presence. Do you feel you would be able to teach others? With music? <coughs> no, with uh, living momentary. the moment. Oh, with momentary. I think you should really set up a school list. Yeah, this, this school was just a little funny idea in my mind. I don't know uh, how to teach momentarism. Read The Power of Now, that would help everybody. It's already written. I'm not, I'm not the, I don't think I could teach this. I think maybe the best way of teaching anyone in life is living it yourself. And the more you can do that, the more you can just be who you are and how you are the more perhaps you may inspire. I don't think it's possible to teach anyone anything. I think people choose to learn something or not, and usually it's by, that's the most empowering way to learn anyway, is by observing somebody or something or some place and then claiming it as yours and being empowered and then choosing it for yourself and then you learn it within you. Nobody can really, I mean, they've tried that with a lot of religions and that's not ended so pretty. No. So, I don't know, I don't think I'm a teacher of monetary. Anyway, to go on with that point, it's not the only way. I think you need a mixture of momentarianism with good planning and intention of the future. Like an archer with a, I always bring this metaphor in, like an archer with a bow and arrow and setting a really clear point of where you want to get to and then letting go of the arrow and then completely letting go focusing really sharply, then completely let it go, then you walk along, you end up in Namor on the street drinking mojitos, and now all is great. <laughs> I'm living proof <laughs> of my theories.
No, I'm joking. No, music's great, that's all I want to say. It's just a good excuse for more sex, more drugs, and more rock and roll.